Thanks very much for coming, everybody. My name is Jens Hilke. I'm a conservation biologist with the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department. Welcome to the course we call NR2, Caring for Natural Resources, Taking Action in Your Community. We'll offer a certificate of completion when you finish the course. So the following course is divided into three sections. The first two sections will be delivered to you online in this webinar format. And the third section will be delivered in person. During the in-person section of the course, we'll review the content in these two webinars and we'll be doing hands-on activities in small groups or individually to make sure this is as tailored to your situation as possible. This training is geared towards people serving on town boards, conservation commissions, planning commissions, select boards, or planning departments, and it's focused on land use planning for natural resources. Funding for this project came from the Northeastern Area State and Private Forestry Redesign Grant from the U.S. Forest Service, and the project was developed by Vermont Natural Resources Council in collaboration with the Agency of Natural Resources. Again, thanks so much for participating. This presentation is a sequel to a training many of you have already attended, what we call NR1. Vermont's Ecology and Environment, an Introduction to Town Planning for Natural Resources. As you may recall, NR1 was divided into three sections. The first was about the history of Vermont landscape as a context for understanding our natural resources today. The second was about the, the scales, the scales at which different natural resources exist, the landscape, the natural community, and species scale. And the third section was about human communities, the town planning process, and the tools that can advance conservation efforts. In NR2, we're going to take what you learned from NR1 and help you choose locally appropriate strategies for conserving those resources. NR2 uses case studies and exercises to show how taking action can work in real life. Here's what's in this course. In Module A, we're going to start with some big picture concepts. We'll recap from NR1 why community planning is important and how it connects to natural resources. We'll also talk about local data and inventories. In Module B, we'll talk about the types of actions that you can take, both non-regulatory and regulatory. This section is going to focus on the tools that are available. Then, Module C, which is the in-person section of the course, will be the, the how-to section, where we get into more detail about how to get organized and take action. This will include information about prioritizing, public participation, and communication. This course is about keeping resources healthy in the face of change. The overall goal here is to build an understanding about what you can do, how you can work with different people in your community, how you can come up with ways to protect natural resources, and how you can make this happen. We're going to do this by covering some big picture concepts, but also by telling you about concrete steps you can take to pick the best actions for your community. Now, there are a few changes in particular that we hope this course can help communities address. Communities. We know that communities are growing slowly, but they're also spreading out. Land. The way we use land is also changing. Land is being developed at a faster rate than the population is growing, which means we're taking up more space. We also know that land ownership patterns are likely to change. For example, in Vermont, 15% of the forest land is owned by people who are over 75 years old. Climate. Even though the day-to-day -day weather still varies quite a bit, we know that the overall climate has been shifting steadily over time. For example, the Joe's Pond ice out date, which has been measured since 1988, shows a long-term trend of melting earlier and earlier. So this course is about keeping our resources healthy in the face of change, because the changes, good, bad, and otherwise, affect the places we care about and have invested in. The focus of this course is on helping you select actions that are right for your communities and our natural resources.